Coach. Um, man, what a it's a big win uh, for our football team, and, and uh, just the to me the steps that we took and the ability to uh, to compete uh, as hard and as long as we possibly can. Um, there's so much that we got to do better, coaches and players alike, in particular on offense and special teams. Uh, it's our defense absolutely battled, um, you know, second, third, fourth quarters and got put in a bunch of sudden chain situations, handled that really well for the most part and just were relentless all night long. Um, awesome to come out on top in this one against a really good football team. Uh, players and staff need to enjoy this one uh, tonight on the way back and then we got to grow and learn from it here uh, when we get back in the field on Sunday and Monday. So I'll open it up with that. Uh, let me let me just say this too. Just <clears throat> for our fans that traveled here, the amount of orange that was inside of that stadium, um, in, in particular in the game that's honoring Coach Majors too. Like uh, that was awesome to see, and uh, players and, and staff and myself uh, appreciate uh, the efforts that uh, our fan base makes. We'll start with Adam, then go to Joe. Josh, what can you say about Trey Flowers, the the mistake late, and then making the big sack there in, in overtime? Dan, just. He has grown so much, and you can see that in the way he physically looks, uh, how he approaches every day, and then that shows up in the way that he plays. And it doesn't mean that we're going to play perfect. This game ain't ever going to be perfect. But to be able to reset after that play, the look in his eyes, the defense uh, got back in the huddle, um, you could tell he was disappointed, but you could see it in his eyes when he reset, and uh, it showed in the way that he finished the football game. Uh, Josh, staying with, with uh, Flowers, you guys are real a little bit early. You get that big play in the end zone, the pick. How big was that moment just to kind of reset you guys and get you going the other direction? Yeah, uh, offensively, early, we didn't do anything to get a drive started. We were completely out of rhythm. Uh, defensively, weren't gap sound, didn't tackle well. Um, we got our feet uh, kind of underneath us a little bit after that play, and, and it, it stopped uh, the momentum bleeding, whatever you want to say, and, and uh, gave us a chance to, to get going the other direction. Big play. Austin and David. Was, was there something that they were doing that you kept throwing towards Sam? He had 18 targets today, which was a lot. He, it seemed like you guys, you guys kept going right mm -hmm. a lot, more so than left. Anything in particular? Just Nothing in particular. There? Just, you know, sometimes it's just, you know, scheme that <laughs> you want to attack based on, you know, where you're getting the ball. Um, you know, start drives or during the course of a drive. Um, yeah, you look at the way you know, Seth competed. There's some things in the middle part of the game that he, he'd want back. Uh, but huge play at the end of the game, you know, and, and uh, proud of the way that he competed. I thought Peru did an uh, unbelievable job um, playing strong and physical and, and uh, yards after the catch uh, were critical by him. Josh, what does it say about the progress when you when you win a game like this with two fumbles and a block punt in the second half? Yeah, it says that uh, there's a lot of learning that needs to go on because uh, the fumbles can't happen, the block punt uh, can't happen. And uh, it's us, us as coaches and players continuing to, to get better. And, and uh, you know, we got to make those strides here really quickly. And uh, at the same time, I, what I do love is that there's a, a certain level of maturity that we certainly didn't have last year at times, that our kids are willing to, to continue to compete. And, They've handled the ups and downs in the flow of the game the right way where they continue to just you know, reset and play the next play. So there was a lot of positive in that way. Patrick, Ryan, and Wes. Coach, a couple things in the second half of the offense. What was the reason for some of the struggles and what they were doing? You guys not, not executing it. <coughs> I think your, your defense had, I think, 25 pressures. It was an ESPN stat most in like 10 years. What can you say about the way that that could have played? <clears throat> Defensive effort, just in general, um, absolutely relentless. I said it earlier, the second, third, and fourth quarter, that's, that's as good a performance as I've been around in a long time. Uh, they got put in a lot of bad positions uh, from turnovers, short fields, to special teams. They reset, they played. Uh, they were physical at the front four, and our pressures were relentless on the quarterback all night long. Uh, even if we didn't sack them, we were hitting them early in the ball game. Um, those were completions at times in the first couple of drives. You know, I heard Coach Banks, Coach G, and uh, you know, I said it too. Like, just keep coming. You're going to get get home here eventually. And, and uh, you know, I just I thought the overall effort from them was, uh, was special. How do you assess Hinton's performance tonight? Uh, a lot of positives. Uh, I thought we were just a little bit off. He was a little bit off early in the football game, uh, pitching and catching it. You know, the way we attacked them early didn't feel like we could just line up and run the football right down there. 
middle of the football field on them, you know, and, and uh, I didn't think we executed the pitch and catch uh, very early. Some of the blocking on the perimeter screens. As the game went on, I thought we handled it better. Uh, you know, we struggled at protections that time. You know, we turned it over on third and short. Like, we just never got going in the third quarter. We have to be better uh, on the offensive side of the football to, to play all three phases together uh, during the second half. How much better is Aaron Beasley than he was last year, and what's led to that? Yeah, different player. Um, you know, I think he had a you know a full off season and he really bought in. And, you know, his mental and, and physical maturity is so much different than it was a year ago. Uh, his movement skills are, are completely different because he's transformed his body. Uh, year two in our system uh, has a much better understanding, and so his keys are taking him to play, and he's you know not thinking, uh, he's anticipating and seeing and reacting you know, extremely quickly. And, and, uh, because of all of those factors, he's playing the game a different way than he did a year ago. Austin and Joe. Can you talk about Kamal Haddon's performance tonight? Felt like he made you know, quite a few plays for you guys in his first start. Yeah, he did. Uh, I thought he uh, played really well throughout the course of, of the evening. Uh, contested plays, you know, batted balls down on the cross country route. Um, you know, was uh, did a really good job in, in a lot of man to man situations, and, and uh, you know. Without seeing it, I would say probably one of his best complete games, start to finish, uh, that he's had here. And, and uh, we're going to continue to need that from, from all those guys, but certainly him at the corner position. Yeah, Josh, with both those guys and then also um, you know, guys like Harris and Walker coming to make and make plays, are you seeing some just some more depth and some guys on defense <laughs> who are maybe giving you a different look and a chance to have a higher ceiling this year? <clears throat> I do think we have more depth. You're going you're gonna to need all of them as, as the year goes on. Just. Is inevitably, um, you know, this physical game in this league, uh, guys get nicked up. You're gonna need all of them, um, but you know, when they're healthy, uh, it gives us the ability to rotate more, uh, play with more depth, uh, let your kids uh, play harder for longer, and, and uh, when it's time to, to get a fresh body in there, we're able to do that. That's true in, in the second uh, level. You know, you talk about the star position. Uh, it's true up front too, uh, which. You know, leads to uh, our ability to, to be relentless and play the way that they did, snap in and snap like that. David and Adam. Josh, I know you and Alex and Joey have all talked this offseason about Hendon's running and, and kind of wanting him to be careful on that. But at the start of overtime, it looked like that was kind of the, the plan to go to him. Was that a result of the running backs kind of being stuffed? Yeah, I just felt the way that they were playing at that point in the game uh, needed his his legs for angles and numbers uh, in the run game. Uh, you know, the first one picks up a, a handful. Obviously, the second one, uh, we get the holding call on and it goes around the corner. Um, you know, at times his feet are going to have to be a part of, of what we do offensively. And some of that's designed, a lot of it won't be. Uh, and some of you saw some of that tonight, too, where he had to pull the ball down. Is there a maybe a gamer quality, big game quality to Cedric Tillman <coughs> with that last catch and, and knowing that they, they know that the ball's probably going to him at some point. Yeah, we're going to keep finding out more and more about him, but uh, we believe in him. Uh, he's a big time player. Uh, he's you know, got the physical maturity to, to do that. Just you know his track record, how he's continued to grow as a competitor. Um, he believes in himself, Hayden kind of believes in him, and uh, our players and our staff believe in him too. Eric Austin and Wes. Does the growth, like in maturity with your football team, kind of help win games like today with the ups and the downs and the flows, the resiliency factor? Yeah, uh, a year ago, uh, a game like this, not just some of the things that we did playing, but the ups and downs, I don't think we would have handled it in the way that we would <clears> need to, to to be able to come out on, on top, to just keep playing. Um, and we're far from being a finished product. Uh, we got a long ways to go. Coaches and, and players like to to keep getting um, to where we're capable of being. But the growth of maturity and the competitiveness, man, so different than, than when we first took over. I told the guys in the locker room, I'm really proud of, you know, this shows some of the things we've been talking about and, and uh, shows their growth, proud of them. You look around college football, App State wins at Texas A&M, Marshall wins at Notre Dame. <laughs> it, it, winning on the road is hard. I mean, so I mean, is that one of the big, Takeaways you have from this is just no matter. It's easy to look at the, the mistakes we made, but a win's a win. Yeah, this is a good football team. We knew that going into sure. it, uh, and, and uh, they're well coached and, and uh, they strong and physical. Um, I, every time you step on the field, man, they got eight five scholarships and they got good coaches too, and, and uh, so you don't take any of it for granted. You can't do that uh, in your preparation. And you can't do it uh, after it. You, you got to enjoy uh, 
um, the wins, no matter how pretty or not pretty you know, a win might be, you better enjoy it, and they're hard to come by. So, um, you know, for us to come out here and not play perfect by any stretch of imagination, but compete, like, man, we talked about that all week, man. It's going to take 60 minutes. I, I lied to him. I didn't know I was lying to him when I, when I, when I said that. But, um, man, the ability to just reach that play, I'm, I'm proud of that part of it. And <clears throat> if we learn lessons from this and get better staff and players alike, then we got a chance to, to keep getting better. And uh, at the end of the day, we're trying to be the best team on the field like each Saturday that we play. Wes? Gosh, I'm sure there's probably not a simple answer for this, but in terms of how you get a team from when you inherited to, to becoming a team that can kind of get through a game like this and win it where so many things go wrong and they could have turned the thing around, but they come back and win it and they maybe wouldn't have last year. How do you build that that sort of thing, that culture in your program? Yeah, you start by having an open dialogue with them man, and being transparent about you know what we're about and where we're going. Um, Give buy into some accountability and and uh, through that, you develop some trust, man. And, and uh, we've got good relationships, you know, players and coaches alike. Not perfect, but um, we're in it together. And, and uh, players know that uh, we love and respect them, and we know that they do the same thing. And, and all of a sudden, you get to that point where you, you got some core characteristics in your program, man. Now you can just go compete every single day. And uh, our guys, when they walk in the building, not perfect, but they do love coming in, man. And, and uh, they do fight, strain, and compete every day. They're, they've become so not perfect, but so much more consistent in just who they are uh, every day. And we got a staff that's selfless. You know, it's not about any one person, it's about each other, and it's about the power of tea, and you get people to, to buy into something bigger than themselves, and you got a chance to do something. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and you get a chance to grow. Zach in the back. Kind of speaking of your offensive coaches and your assistants, I saw some of that celebration there walking off the field and then with Hendon. I guess, what was that like to just kind of yeah. bring this high relief? I celebrated with our defense staff in a big time way too, man. Coach T, Coach Banks, Coach X, Coach BJ, Coach Martinez. I, I guarantee you I haven't said it enough in this press conference, but they did an unbelievable job in preparing and getting our guys ready to go. <coughs> and uh, for our whole staff, man, this is a, this is a program where it takes everybody and, and uh, you know, that's from me to our full-time coach down to equipment and staff and, and everybody that's here on this trip, man, it's a program win. Last question, Patrick. Coach, you call it a program win. Is it your, your favorite win of your tenure so far? I don't know if you have one, one for, uh, favorite. It's my favorite win of this week. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I play her shortly outside. All right, you guys have a great one, man. Appreciate it. Thank you.